Santiago walked into the room accompanied by a corrections officer. His body was tight and his face serious. He still maintained his powerful presence. He had a way of looking good, even in those jail greens that hung on him like a leisure suit. I smiled when I saw him. He smiled back. Where's your mother, downstairs? He asked. No, she wasn't feeling good. She had to take two of those pills and they knocked her out cold. You know, only something that dramatic could keep her away. I had practiced this answer the whole trip to Rikers. No sense in adding to Santiago's problems. And my girls? They're fine. You know they miss you and all, but they're tough. They'll do all right. Maybe. He smiled. Porsche has seven years, and the project's under her belt. She's tough. Mercedes and Lexi? No, they've been sheltered. They're straight-up suburban kids. I laughed but wanted to hurry on to the business. Daddy, tomorrow I'm going to see your lawyer. I'm going to find out everything. What do you need me to tell him? I've been talking to him on the phone every chance I get, he said. He'll want to talk money. He don't have to worry about that, though. I got money. Daddy, they raided the safe at the house. They took 150 grand. He held up his hand to keep me from talking. Just get a hold of Midnight. He got $50 of mine. I was sure that this was a code for $50,000. He'll take care of everything. Just let him know I said it's that time. Daddy, someone said Midnight got picked up too. I don't know if it's true, but that's what I heard. Daddy's eyebrows knitted together as if Midnight's arrest was somehow not what he had planned for. After a short pause, he said, he'll be out soon. They got nothing on him. He's clean. I kept him that way. Just chill and wait for him. He'll come through. He always does. Meanwhile, tell Goldstein, I said, use the key. That'll be a deposit on his fee. Daddy, Uncle Steve got picked up in Harry, Van, and Ron. I know, I seen all of them. Driguez, Pizazz, they all in here. It's like being at home. He smiled. I'm sure more for my benefit than anything. They just trying to shake my niggas up, scare somebody until they sing. You know what I mean? I'm all right, Winter. Don't worry about me. It's mama you got to look after. After that bullet, she's delicate. She don't know it, but she is. About the house, Santiago, I think we should sell it, you know, so we'll have some money flow. I like your mind, he said. Tell Goldstein. Tell him I said sell it, Winter. You got to be tough. It's time. Remember everything I taught you. Keep your ears open. Follow the directions I gave you to the letter and just play your hand close to your chest. We said that last line together. I had heard it so many times. I had never really thought about how important it was, but it was sinking in now. Tell your mother I want to see her one week from today on Thursday. Tell her I said pull herself together and get down here on Thursday in her best shit so I can show her off.